Hi guys, I'm just going to do a quick guide here on what happens if when logging into your WordPress admin page you see this message. You've popped what you thought was the username and password in, but it's telling you that in fact the username or password are incorrect. Um, there's a pretty good way to check this slash get yourself a new password. What you're going to want to do, you're going to log into your cloud dashboard. And what you're going to go is to the database tools option here, and you'll see there's an option there for MySQL databases. Um, just give that one a quick open, and you'll see here that it shows you when it's loaded that your WordPress installation is called this and it's running from this server. What you're actually going to need to do is log into something called PHP My Admin. Um, if you've not done this before, don't worry too much, it's not as hard as it sounds. Um, so we're in the MySQL databases. And you'll see the option just at the top for PHP My Admin. You want to give that one a click. What that's then going to do is ask you for a username and a password. As you didn't do this, you're probably going to wonder what that is. Really straightforward. Click into your file manager, and you're going to open something called the WP config file. Have a quick look across here, and you will find it. This is generally a sample, but there's also like an active one in this case here. What you want to do, you can either download it and get some information from there, or you can just right click, and you'll see there's an option for edit text file. Give that one a click. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see some options here which show you what your database name is, the username, the password it's got, which will be the password it gave it when you installed, and also the host name, which is the server that your database runs from. So what you want to do is make a quick note of them, and then just open up a quick text editor. I'm just going to use text edit in my example. Uh, once I've got this open, I'm just going to quickly paste those details in there just pop that over to the side there um, once you've got that you can close this you're hopefully not going to need it anymore and then we're going to want to go to PHP my admin All right, so we're going to grab the database username from here we're just going to quickly copy it copy pop that into the username box and paste it in we're also going to want the password which we can find in there as well don't worry, you don't need to remember this, it's always in that config file. <coughs> and also the server choice, just to double check. I'm pretty sure it's already got the right one selected. Yep, there we go. Dot 50. So we can close that one. And then we're going to click go. And give that one a few seconds just to log in. And then you'll see once you're in here, this might look a bit different to you. What you want to find is on the left hand side over here is the database name. So in our case, it was TSA train underscore then IW6W4. Just want to give that one a click. And what we're actually going to look for is something called the WP users table, which thankfully is at the bottom. So we're going to give that one a click again on the left hand side. And what that will then show us is. Um, the username that we've currently got, um, the password which is encrypted, and then the user email that that user kind of has associated to it. When you first install WordPress, um, it will automatically create this user email for you, so admin at TSO training. Um, with this, you kind of have two options. If you have available mailboxes on your account, you can actually just create this admin at mailbox and then follow the link for using your password, it'll just ask you to pop the username or email address in. Popping in the username will just associate it to that email address. Uh, we're not going to do that in this example, just because that's pretty straightforward and I'm sure you can follow that. What we're going to do is actually manually changing the password here. So what you want to do, you want to click the little pencil button, edit, and you'll see here you want to find the user pass, which is short for the password. Uh, you'll see here it's encrypted. What we're going to do, is just going to call it I'm going to make it nice and simple, we're going to say our password is going to be QWERTY123. wouldn't recommend that one, obviously, not very safe. And that we're going to do, you find this little function box, and you're going to want to find the option for MD5, which is the encryption type. Once you've done that, just click Go. Go is equivalent to saving. Give it a second. And there we go. And then, if we log into here, we're going to quickly log in to the login page again. Okay, we need to remember the username, which I can get from there. So my username was BYKMSW. I'm going to load that one in there. And then I'm just going to put QWERTY123 in there. And hopefully, if all's gone well, when I click log in, it should take me into the WordPress dashboard, which it has. Um, so, just a quick recap if you happen to misplace your password, you've got two options. Um, you can log into PHP Admin, just check to see what the URL address the 
username has associated to it. If you've already got it created, you can recreate that um, through the email accounts option on the cloud dashboard. Or if you want to have a bit of a go yourself, just click the edit function, find the user pass option, pop in whichever password you want in the box there, and just remember to select MD5 from the list, click go, um, and that will then update the password for you.